Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. This video is by request. Um, somebody had said they have a situation where they pay the sales tax before the sales tax is due. And so they might make two payments and then later the tax is due. And they asked that I make a video to show how to handle that within QuickBooks Online. Well, I don't have a perfect answer. Let me show you what I've come up with. This will benefit the person who is asking, but this will also benefit anybody else who is in a similar position. You've got the money now, you want to turn it in now, and you just need a way to make sure that QuickBooks knows about it so that it's not sitting there in your bank feeds indefinitely. So let's start. On the left hand side of my screen, if I click on taxes and then sales tax, it'll bring up a list of my sales tax. And now at the bottom of the screen, I have my current sales tax, my $101 that is due. If I click on the view tax return on the right, which is what I would typically do to pay the tax, we usually have something that says pay sales tax. So I don't. And in this example, if I was going to send the state of Washington $100 now, it's halfway through the month, I'm recording this on the 15th, and then send the, the rest of the money at the end of the month, I don't have a way to record that within QuickBooks. I would recommend that you, you turn in the tax money however you're currently doing it. If you have a system that works, I don't want to break that system. Within QuickBooks, it, it seems like you need to wait until it says due or overdue so that you can log the payment. So let's take a look at something that I have from before. I have this um, payment due from May that I've never logged in QuickBooks. It currently says overdue because May was a while ago. What I'm gonna do is just click on view tax return on the right. We're gonna make believe that we made two payments for this. Those two payments happened during the month of May and that QuickBooks is just doesn't know about it yet because we haven't logged those payments yet. Unlike the payment for September, there is a record payment button for the money owed back in May. The difference is just that it's past the month of May. So I'm going to click on record payment. And the payment amount is $63. Let's make believe that we paid $30 and that later we paid the other $30. And we'll make believe that we made this payment uh, we'll say May 15th, right in the middle of the month. And then it came out of the Bank of America checking. I don't need to include a memo or anything like that. I can just click record payment. So now a payment has been recorded. We're back at our sales tax liability screen. Let me just scroll down. I can now see the month of May. Instead of owing 60 some odd dollars, I owe 30 something dollars. So I, I can again just click on view tax return. And then I can record a payment and I can record the payment for however much money the next payment was. So we'll pretend that the end of May came along and we made the payment and the payment came out June 5th. Um, it can come out of the same bank account as before or it can come out of a different bank account. From here, I can click record payment. Now when I go back and I look at my list, I see that May is paid in full. It's okay that I made two payments and it's okay that I'm going back and recording my payments months later. In a perfect world, I wouldn't record them months later, but let's go back where we started. Let's pretend that you're in the middle of September. The status says open. You've turned in some money, but QuickBooks doesn't have a way for you to log the payment. That's fine. Just hang tight, wait until it's due, and then log the payment at that point. The downside is that means you're not going to be able to balance or reconcile your checkbook because you're not logging the payment. The upside is that you can definitely make the payments on whatever schedule makes the most sense for you. So if you're looking at this and the video kind of makes sense, but kind of doesn't, you have questions, let me know. This is not a common scenario, but it's also not the kind of thing that I felt like the person needed a one on one call. So I'm like, well, I'm just going to make a quick video for YouTube and maybe it helps more than one person. If you have any questions, if there's any videos you'd like to see me create, if you'd like self-study independent courses, if you'd like one-on-one -on -one training, or if you'd just like to pawn off your bookkeeping, don't hesitate to reach out to me.
Thank you so much and have a great day.